Hey everybody, Cynical Bastard here, blibbity blobbity blobbity blibbity blibbity blue, insert generic uh, jokey intro here. So belligerently tired, I could barely see straight, and really in no mood to say any words of any kind, but uh, definitely not to get irritated or angry about ever anything, because well, let me tell you, it takes a ton of energy to be irritated and angry about anything. So, but this is a point that I wanted to get across, so I figured it was a perfect time while my uh, irritated shields are lowered to give you a little taste of the softer side. Mmm, so soft and silky and smooth. Delicious. I know what a lot of you are who watch these videos, and I use the term a lot loosely because I believe added up between the five or six videos that I have made here. I have somewhere close to two dozen views, and that's being very generous. Let's just go with anybody who's watched these videos. I, I, I know what you're thinking. This guy is an, a, an irritated asshole. Uh, and you're not wrong, but you're also not entirely right, and that's not your fault, because that's the perception I've given you. You're only perceived the way you allow people to perceive you. And I generally only allow people to perceive me as an insane maniac who will chew your face off if you make me angry. But that's not entirely true, like I said. Uh, and I'll tell you why I give off that perception. Because you have to build that sort of protective wall around yourself. Because there are people out there in the world that'll look to hurt you. And there is nothing, there is no worse feeling in the world than being hurt by another human being. Particularly a human being that you yourself cared about and you don't have that feeling returned in spades. I love to love. The feeling of love, uh, uh, whether that be platonic, romantic, uh, a mutual back and forth love is such a, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Uh, but by the same token, getting hurt by another human being is the absolute worst feeling in the world. So you are forced to create a protective shield around yourself so that per th those people can't get in. It also cultivates from just general insecurities in life. Uh, nobody would ever figure this out about me unless I told them, and I'm going to tell you now, I'm insanely insecure. I mean, <laughs> look at me. How could I not be insecure? But nobody would ever get that perception from me because I build the protective shield around me. And that's all this is. It's just to protect me from getting hurt. And you'll generally find that's the truth about most people you encounter with such rough edges. I couldn't be more grateful for the people I do have in my life who I have a reciprocal love and bond with. Uh, my, my friends that care about me as much as I care about them, uh, and we would do anything for each other for my family. I, I, my father is the greatest man I've ever known in my entire life, and I know without fail he's always there for me when I need him. If I were, if I were trapped on top of the Andes Mountains, with no uh, possibility of a helicopter rescue, he would scale that mountain himself and throw me on his back and carry me back down to the bottom. And he would probably bring me a comb because he hates how I never do my hair the right way and uh, probably a nice collared shirt because he also despises most of my t-shirts. But I love him, nonetheless. I had a horrible, horrible nightmare about him the, the other night, uh, where he was just, he was just old, older than he is. He's, he's currently 60, but you would never guess it looking at him. He's 60 going on, you know, 40 at this point, but I'm talking absolutely infirmed 
have to be hold your hand, take care of old. And uh, it almost makes me semi emotional talking about it now. So I won't delve too deep too deep into it because I'm definitely not gonna let you motherfuckers see me cry. Uh, but yeah, he was. Uh, I had to coach him through the front door of the house. And at one point came into a different room there where he was uh, bent over and uh, pretty sad to himself because, uh, and it sounds funny but it's not, but he had made a mess of himself in his pants and I just brought him into close to me and said, it's okay, we'll take care of it, don't worry. And if he ever were to find himself in such a situation, that's exactly what would happen because I would have to return that care that he's given to me in spades. Uh, my brother, although I would never tell his bitch ass this directly, and I only hear it from him once he's ten beers deep into a case of Budweiser, I, I love him more than life itself. And uh, God forbid if something terrible were to happen to him, you might as well take me with you, because that's, that's the end for me. My mother, uh, you know, I'm just kidding, Mom. I swear I'm kidding. Uh, as much as we butt heads sometimes, of course I love my mother. What kind of man are you if you don't love your mother? A disgusting, repulsive man. You, 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 you're signed on to a contract for life to take care of your mother no matter what from the sheer fact that she brought you into this world and coached you through uh, your childhood. And she's been there for me too, in multiple situations, even when she didn't want to be. So like I said, I'm so very grateful for the genuine human beings that I do have in my life that care about me, but there are ones out there that'll look to hurt you, and those being hurt by those humans particularly the ones you've cared about, it's it's the worst feeling in the world. And therefore, I am a cynical bastard. But uh, like a very bald, nerdy friend of mine once told me, you've got to go 80%, 20%. 80% nice guy, but you also have to go 20% asshole because there are human beings in this world that will take advantage of your generosity and niceness and look to use you and abuse you and leave you behind like garbage. But I don't want to focus too much in on that. My basic point is this. Love... Don't be... Save that shield for the people who deserve it and don't give it to the ones that don't deserve it. The ones that you genuinely love. And make sure... You take a moment in your day to day to go tell them how much you love them and care about them because I promise you, nobody ever gets tired of hearing that. You make sure that you love the one you're with. Love the one you're with. Love the 